when you try to hear something going on inside, when you hear something that God's saying, when you hear something that someone's trying to tell you, when you go, oh, I understand, often you stop listening, right? And the reason is we have created an understander, right? And anything that requires listening past the understander would be death to the understander, right? The part of you that kicks in and goes, oh, okay, that makes sense. That's what this is. Or a diagnosis. Okay, that person's like that because they're da-da-da-da-da, right? So I was working with someone yesterday. I could hear they had energy that just wanted to be heard, but not understood. It just wanted to be heard. And at first, when they were listening, you could see them hear it and then be like, this is what that is. This is what that is. It comes from this. And you could just feel the energy in the body being dismissed because it was suddenly shrunken down to the understanding that a person created always based on what they knew before, right? Your understander is based on what you knew from the past. Like you're taking what is vast in the now and you're shoving it into an understanding. Like, it, that, like if you understood at a third grade level and someone's showing you 10th grade, you're not gonna understand it. So you might dismiss it. You might misdiagnose it. You might just miss out on what it has for you. And what a breakthrough truly is, is when your smaller understander dies. When you start to merge with this thing that you listen to all that is, but you don't shrink it to what you've understood so far. And, and when people say to you, you know, I don't understand you. They're, they're really saying, I can't shove you into what I've understood so far. And when you say to someone else, right? Like, I don't understand you. You're saying, I'm not willing to listen past what I understand. And life is trying to tell you things that are so much bigger than you've ever understood. And this is why listening is a bigger deal than understanding. Because it might kill your understander. It might be bigger than your understander. It might be beyond anything that you understand. So you start to listen. You listen to the pain in your body. You listen to what God's saying. You listen to the energy that's coming through. You listen, but you don't shrink it into an understanding. You don't go, oh, okay, I know what that is. That's just, like we do that with everything, right? Like you'll do it with like, oh, my dad said that because he's da-da-da-da-da. Oh, I dreamt this because da 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 da, right? I'm going to make sense out of it. It's funny because if you've ever taken ayahuasca, it shows you stuff, but you really don't get to understand it because sometimes it'll show you something and then it'll take you somewhere else and take you somewhere else. And you're just seeing, but you can't really come up with a for sure life conclusion out of it, right? It'll free things. It'll help you, it'll heal you, it'll bring healing, but there's a never ending infinite power to listen to. And the second you make sense out of it, you cut it off. When you, when you make sense out of what this is, why am I feeling, oh, it's because my mom, da, 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 da. What is this? Oh, I remember when my dad yelled at me. What, okay, just picture now, as I've said this one before, but really picture I'm saying to a kid, what are you feeling? And the kid's trying to just piece through it. It's not something diagnosable. And their mom interrupts them and goes, what they're feeling is they're feeling off because two weeks ago, they, whatever, you know, they've had this before. We've been here before for this, whatever. And just, you can just feel the kid is not heard. Some voice is on top of the kid. That's what we do to what's inside, right? Inside of you right now, what's here? 
I don't want to make sense out of it. I want to hear it. And I want to keep hearing it. I'll see that, you know, people will hear it to interrupt it, right? Oh, I know what this is. The second they do that, I'm like, you just left it. So I'll say to someone, tell me what you feel. And they just, if they say like, I feel a sensation, I feel a slight sadness, I feel what feels like trapped energy, I can go so far with that person. But if they start to come up with the entire assessment of why it's there, I can't because we're not listening to it. Like you can take any person and shove them into your small understander and decide who they are. You can do it with, that's a good person, that's a bad person, that's this person does this, this person, whatever. And you're not listening. You're just shoving it into some small understander like, you know, when you look at me right now, even I don't fully know who I am. So when you look at me, do you have an idea? He's a speaker and da, 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 da. he was a comic and dad, whatever. And meanwhile, there's this unfolding energy that is going to talk forever, meaning like not speak, but this energy is trying to talk forever. It's full information forever, but not information to be captured, right? Got it. That's for this, da, 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 da. <sighs> to be seen like a, a never ending movie. Like your thoughts want to be seen with no end. The trees and the information in nature wants to be seen with no end, with no grabbing onto, with no making sense out of. This now right here, it's like a different world when you live from your understander. You don't even hear this. It's just all to fit some agenda. Like sometimes we'll listen enough to get what we want so we can get the job, right? Meanwhile, it was taking you to superpowers and magic and synchronicity and everything. It was taking you somewhere so profound. And you're just in this little story, mad at someone else. I have it too. I have at times where I'm just like, I, you know, and all I feel is just apology and forgiveness to every person in the world I've ever met right now. Because when you listen to this, it goes, yeah, yeah, your understander, right? Your understander is trying so hard to keep you in a small separate self while this gorgeous, crazy unfolding is happening to you that isn't full of the good and bad consciousness, right? This is good. This is bad. It's good if they got, gave you the money. It's bad if you lost it. It's good if you're in a relationship. It's bad. That's just the small story that is missing out on a treasure trove of just a waterfall of infinite. Like, here's this crazy, magical, never ending unfolding for you. And you're caught in something and ignoring all of it. The most gorgeous, healing, never ending waterfall of magic. Going, can you listen to me past your understander? Can you just not ever understand me? Someone once described enlightenment, if that's what you want to call this. I don't think it is. I don't know how to call it. I don't want to get caught in that. But someone once called it skydiving and never hitting ground. Like imagine if you were skydiving and never ever landed. You're just always in with no end point. Only the mind 
sees beginning and end, right? Only the mind goes, okay, but what's the end to this, right? Weirdly, there's an infinite trying to happen and the, the understander wants to leave the infinite and go, okay, that's this. Now I know how to get the job. Like right here, the silence that's happening. Notice the awkwardness to the understander. I got to make sense out of this. No, you don't. If someone says, I don't get you, I, it's okay. I don't either but I'm open. Like, I don't get you usually is implied like I'm done trying to make sense out of you. But you could also be like, I don't get me. And I don't have to get me. I don't have to get me. You don't have to get this. You don't have to get this. You can just hear it. Can you not get this and can you hear it? Can the understander that's needed to grasp everything in order to stay safe in your childhood take a break into the infinite waterfall of you? Can you feel this? You don't have to get you. You don't have to get me. No one has to get me because I don't. I don't want to get me. I want to experience whatever wants to be experienced. Isn't that weird? That was in our vocabulary. I don't get it. It's all right. What do you think you're supposed to grab? You also don't get a river. You can't grab that. You don't get the rain, you don't get the wind. You just see it. Don't get this, just hear it. Give your getter a break. So breakthroughs when that understander finally collapses because they don't have to do this because you're moving into the all that isness that's not only completely safe, but magic and never ending and crazy and synchronistic and, and just so beyond anything that the small getter would ever comprehend. Think of that. It's full of memory, the getter. So this is like a you from your small, whatever, 30, 40, 50, 60 year old life, making sense out of the, the universe. Let's say I've been here, I've been here for 44 years. I'm going to make sense out of the multiverses and how this goes. I mean, as far as we know, the universe is infinite, right? So there's no beginning or ending there. Did, did this even begin? Can your mind even Did this even begin? Did this ever begin? Do you get what I'm saying? I know there's a few people. Yes, it did. But I, that's okay. Mary says, I'm not, I love not, I love not getting this in my body. I thought you said, I'm not, I love not getting this in my body. Yeah, just have nothing to grab onto. Just let this fall happen. 